Hello there, hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at the laws of probability. Yes, so you're probably wondering what are the laws of probability? Well, before we can look at the laws of probability, we first need to talk about complements, intersections, and unions because there are several laws of probability. So now, the first law of probability is the complement law. Now let's review what is the complement. What does complement mean? Now P complement means all elements outside of P. Anytime we say P prime, it means the complement of P, which means all elements outside of P. So the first rule is for any event A, then the probability of A complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. So look at this Venn diagram right here. We see the set A, and in the universal set, everything that is outside of A, but inside of the universal set is A complement. All right, and so the probability of A complement is one minus the probability of A. So look at this example here. A card is drawn at random from a deck of 52 cards. Find the probability that the card is A8, and the card is not an 8. Now, to find the probability the card is an 8, there are four number 8s in the card pack. There's 8 of hearts, 8 of club, 8 of diamond, and 8 of spade. And there are 52 cards in total in the card pack. So it's 4 divided by 52, which is 1 over 13. Now, to find the probability the card is not an 8, that is going to be Using the complement law, it is 1 minus the probability the card is an 8. Now, 1 minus the probability the card is an 8 is 1 minus 1 over 13, which is 12 over 13. Now, alternately, what we could have done is say the probability the card is not a 8 is how many cards in the card pack are not 8s? 48 of them. Because if you take out the 4 cards that are 8, we're left back with 48 cards. So 48 divided by 52 is still, guess what? 12 out of 13. So look, look, look. We still get the same 12 out of 13. Whether we use the complement law above, which is 1 minus the probability of the card being an 8. Or had we had calculated it otherwise. So that is known as the complement law. Now, the second law is the union slash intersection law. Now, first thing before we can look at the rule is let's look at what does union mean. Now, P U Q means P union Q, and this is talking about all the elements inside P or Q or both. Now, P N Q means P intersect Q. And these are all the elements in P and Q together. Now the rule states that for any event P and Q then the probability of P union Q is equal to the probability of P plus the probability of Q minus the probability of P intersect Q. Likewise, you could have made the probability of P intersect Q the subject to get that it is equal to the probability of P plus the probability of Q minus the probability of P union Q. Once you remember that formula, you're perfectly fine. All right, so that is a Venn diagram right there, just representing the intersection P intersect Q. And we can see the part that would be P only and Q only. Now let's look at an example right here. It says, in a class of 20 children, Four of the nine boys and three of the eleven girls are in the athletics team. Persons from the class is chosen to be in the egg and spoon race on sports day. Find the probability that a person chosen is option A, a female member of the athletic team and B, a female or in the athletics team. Now, to do this question, let M represent a female 
and P represent a member of the athletic team. So part A wants us to find the probability we have a female and a member of the athletic team. Now the probability of being a female and being on the athletic team is how many females are there on the athletic team? They told us three. So that's three divided by what's the total number of children in the classroom? 20. So the probability of being a female and a member of the athletic team is 3 out of 20. Now part B, a female or in the athletics team. So we need to find a probability of being a female or on the athletics team. Now that is going to be the probability of a female plus the probability of a member of the athletics teams minus the probability of a female and a member of the athletic team. That's because we're applying the formula, the probability of F union M is equal to the probability of F plus the probability of M minus the probability of F intersect M. That's using the union law. So now we can substitute the probability of being a female is how many females are there? 11 girls out of 20 children. So that is 11 out of 20 plus. How many members of the athletic team are there? There are three athletic girls. And how many athletic boys? Four. So that's a total of seven. So that's seven out of 20. Minus, what is the intersection? Three out of 20. Then we put all of that in the calculator and that will give us the union of being a female or a member of the athletics team. It is that easy. Nice. Now the third rule tells us that for any event P and Q, then the probability of event P is equal to the probability of P intersect Q prime plus the probability of P intersect Q. Likewise, the probability of Q is equal to the probability of Q intersect P prime plus the probability of Q intersect P. Now, this formula is very nice to know and very, very helpful. Now, rule number four, this is D. Morgan's law. D. Morgan's law states for any event P and Q, then the probability of P union Q complement is equal to the probability of p complement intersect q complement or the probability of p intersect q complement is equal to the probability of p complement union q complement now let's look at an example to see how can we apply those formulas now let's have a look at this example right here two events a and b are such that the probability of a union b is equal to 0 0.85 the probability of a is 0 0.52 and the probability of b is 0 0.36 so find the probability of a intersect b find the probability of a complement intersect b complement and find the probability of a intersect b complement now first thing is we're going to use Union law to state that the probability of A intersect B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A union B. And so the probability of A intersect B is going to be the probability of A is 0 0.52 plus the probability of B is 0 0.36 minus the probability of A union B and A union B is 0 0.85. We put that into our calculator and we get 0 0.03. Beautiful. Now we need to find part B, the probability of A complement intersect B complement. Now that is equal to the probability of A union B complement using D Morgan's law. Look back at D Morgan's law. So now that we look back at D Morgan's law, we see that the probability of A complement intersect B complement is the probability of a union b complement then the probability of a union b complement we know that that is one minus the probability of a union b that's using the complements law so it's going to be one minus 0 0.85 which is 0 0.15 
and so therefore the probability of a union b complement is 0 0.15 and so the probability of a complement intersect b complement is 0 0.15 it's that easy now let's have a look at part c now part c first thing we need to recall is that the probability of a is equal to the probability of a intersect b plus the probability of a intersect b complement so if we make the probability of a intersect b complement the subject we get that is equal to the probability of a minus the probability of a intersect b and so the probability of a intersect b complement is the probability of a is 0 0.52 minus the probability of a intersect b is 0 0.03 and so what we end up getting is 0 0.49. So the probability of A intersect B complement is 0 0.49. Now, that's just looking at some basic examples. Let's actually look at some exam style questions on the laws of probability. So now, we have three questions right here. Now, using the laws of probability, I want you to pause the video and go ahead and attempt these questions. Alright, now let's start with question 1. We should have paused an attempt. So question 1 says events A and B are such that the probability of A is 19 over 30, the probability of B is 2 over 5, and the probability of A union B is 4 over 5. Find the probability of A intersect B. Now, which one of the rules are we going to use? Yes, we're going to use the intersection law. So, the probability of A intersect B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A union B. So, the probability of A is 19 over 30 plus the probability of B is 2 over 5, minus the probability of A union B, which is 4 over 5. Put that in the calculator and we get 7, 7 over 30. So everybody should have gotten that one really nice. All right, we'll start with the easiest one. Now let's have a look at question 2. Given that the probability of R complement is 2 over 3, and the probability of A is 1 over 2. And the probability of R intersect A is 1 over 12. Find the probability of R union A. Now, the first thing we know is that the probability of R union A using the union law is the probability of R plus the probability of A minus the probability of R intersect A. Very good. Now, wait a minute we were not given the probability of r but what we do know is using complements law the probability of r is one minus the probability of r complement and so the probability of r is one minus two over three which is one over three good now we can back substitute and so the probability of r union a is going to be the probability of r which is one over three plus the probability of a which is a half minus the probability of R intersect A, which is minus 1 over 12. That works out to be 3 over 4. So the probability of R union A is 3 over 4. It is that easy. Nice. Now let's have a look at the third one here. We always save the best one for the last one. Now two fair dices or die are thrown by Michael. Find the probability that the sum of the scores on both dices is 8 or the first dice has an even score. Now this one appears a little bit difficult. So let A represent the first dice with even score. Now the number of even scores you can get on the first die is either 2, 4 or 6. So that's 3, that's 3 possibility, right? So the probability of getting the first die with an even score and we're calling the even score a so the probability of a is a half how did we get a half because that is three divided by six because there's six there are six numbers on the dice now let b represent the scores of two dice to sum to eight 
now we know that the number of sample points is 36 right there are 36 options he can get one and one one and two one and three one and four one and five one and six two and one two and two all the way up to six and six so all we did was multiply six times six to get that the number of sample points is 36 now the number of events or the number of event or chances of actually getting the sum to add up to eight would either be you get a two on the first die and a six on the second one or a three on the first die and a five on the second one or a four on the first die and a four on the second one or a five on the first die and a three on the second one or a six on the first die and a two on the second one so there are five possibility so the probability of getting the sum of the two dice is to be the scores to be eight is five out of 36. now we need to find out now what we need to find out is the or probability but we know before we can find out or we need to find out the intersection so now let's have a look at the number of ways in which we can get the first die to have an even score so now let's look at the number of ways we can get the first die to have an even score and the sum of the two dice's score to add up to eight now we can get a two on the first die a four or a six but it needs the sum to add up to eight so if we get a two on the first die the second number must be six if we get a four on the second die the next number must be four and if we get a six on the first die the next number must be two so there are three possibilities out of 36 options so the probability of a intersect b is 3 out of 36 which is 1 out of 12. now we can say the probability of a union b is the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of a intersect b now the probability of a is a half plus the probability of b is 5 over 36 minus the probability of a intersect b which is 1 over 12 that works out to be 5 over 9 and so we can say the probability that the sum of scores on both dice is 8 or the first dice has an even score is 5 over 9 <laughs> probabilities all right and so these are the laws of probabilities that we'd have covered the complement law which is rule one the probability of a complement is equal to one minus the probability of a then the intersection law the probability of a intersect b is the probability of a plus the probability of b minus the probability of a union b rule number three the probability of a is equal to the probability of a intersect b plus the probability of a intersect b complement and rule number four which is d morgan's law is that the probability of a union b complement is equal to the probability of a complement intersect b complement you must remember them once you remember them you'll be fine and that covers the laws of probability so stay tuned for more as in the next video we will look at mutually exclusive and independent events all right so stay tuned take care keep on practicing and have a blessed day